stranded in the woods. And all you have is your SOL Phoenix survival tool. Let's see if we can get a fire going with this thing. Has some fire tender stuck in it. here to dig that out. I don't have any fingernails. Alright, we'll use that piece. Okay, it's got a ferro rod. We're gonna fluff this up. I'm not really lost in the woods. My house is literally right over there. So, I'm in pretty good shape, don't worry. But, uh, we're just gonna see if we can get a fire going. And I'm not even gonna set the tinder up very good. Okay, yeah. Okay, if I'd have spent more prep time, yeah, I'm pretty sure that, uh, that would have worked. Got a fire going. I don't know, it might burn. Um, it was a pretty dry 2x4 that I just split up. Not with this. But it's got a pocket clip, a whistle, this knife, and a flashlight. This costs $25. We're going to look at it, see if maybe you could spend $25 and just get something a little better, um, or even just a group of somethings. Um, but right now, I'm going to sit here by this fire for a minute. The SOL Phoenix, $25. Uh, SOL stands for Survive Outdoors Longer. Um, I don't know. Maybe in this case it, it might uh, might stand for that or it might just stand for SOL. Um, anyway, it has a, a flashlight. If you press it three times it blinks. Um, it has a little compartment for fire tender right in there. A whistle. A ferro rod uh, for throwing sparks and such. And a small blade. Uh, the blade is it's just 100% stainless. There's, I've tried to sharpen it. It's sharp enough to, I guess, cut yourself in an accident. Um, it's got some little wrenches here. Um, a flathead screwdriver right down here. Very Barely usable stuff. Um, but... I, uh, I made a fire with it. Um, you can see in the dark with the flashlight. Um, whistle does work. But 25 bucks. I'm just not so sure. Uh, the cool thing about it, um, it does come with this uh, pocket clip, which you can also clip on a hat. And I guess use the light. Um, to walk around with uh, it, it's kind of th well thought out though because on the end of the ferro rod the light is pointed at whatever you're trying to strike and everything so I mean it, that's pretty well thought out but $25 um, the batteries it takes are, are oddball um, little round like old watch but I don't know what kind of batteries they're just they're not a very super common battery um, so 
I mean, my only complaint about it is just the $25. Um, so I was going to see if I could put together something uh, any better for less. So uh, we're just going to put this right here. Trip to Walmart. A Camillus knife. Uh, it's actually got a blade. Uh, this was uh, $4.99. So $5. An Ozark Trail flashlight that is absolutely much brighter. Has the flash. Um, $4.99. A Bic lighter. It was $1.89. And a whistle that's actually louder than that whistle. So, in a Ziploc bag, uh, you can get 32 of these at the dollar store for a dollar. Um, all of this, in my opinion, is better than this while being cheaper. Um, this doesn't take any skill motor skills, anything like that top rate, it's a lighter. Um, the knife, much more usable, and yeah, still not a great knife, but just a lot more usable. So, um, with that said, if I was lost in the wilderness, um, I would much rather have this on my person than this. Now, the thing is, this takes up less space. If you're just going for a hike, you could probably just throw this in your pocket when this stuff right here, you know, yeah, even in a Ziploc bag, it's still going to take up a little bit of room. Um, so, you know, there is that. This is more compact. Um, possibly more handy to carry. But, um, if I had to choose, you know, somebody said, okay, you know, you can have this or you can have that. And they were going to throw me out in the woods right now then I would take this little pile. Um, I'm not saying this is bad, uh, but a lot of your survival kits and things like that, I think they're more eye-catching and um, marketing than they are going to get you out of trouble, going to get you unlost, going to save your life, going to you know, build a cabin in the woods, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's cool, but for $25, uh, I would just just soon have this little ensemble here. And, uh, let's see. I had enough money to buy a picnic basket and throw some treats in it with this stuff here and still not have spent $25. So, uh... As cool as this is, you know, just a little handy, convenient, and, you know, got a little button here, and you can push the blade out, and everything's there. I, for $25, uh, I would put your own little kit together, um, unless, like I said, this, you just get this to throw in an extra pocket. You've already got this. Throw this in a extra pocket of your backpack or something, I guess, um, or take your $25 and get better stuff um, I'm not not recommending it but I absolutely wouldn't recommend it you know it's like oh yeah if, it's, if you have this you're in good shape um, you're good to go uh, you'll make it home I just I don't know about that uh, this the blade is so tiny I don't know what you you know I don't know. I guess as a minimalist kit, just something uh, to have in your bag. Um, you know, maybe a little self-insurance if it makes you feel better. But if you have to depend on this, you're probably going to really need, like, actual insurance. Because um, I just don't think this is going to cut it. Thanks for watching.